Alright guys, today is Sunday fun day. We basically are going to do things today that we just can't afford to do back in Australia because they're very expensive. So that includes virtual reality. We're gonna hit the VR place, VR Live behind us here in my town. And then we'll probably hit the arcade up after this. So let's go and check out the VR place here and see how much it costs. All right, what do we got there, Pauline? All right, so a three game package is 108 ringgit per person. So we're looking at about $35 per person for three games. So $10 Sweet. something a game. Should we do that? That's good. All right, so we've got three games to choose from. So the kids want to do City Hero and Super Ninja. I have been recommended out of these two to actually go for the Viking Craft, if okay. you guys prefer that. Should we do that? Yeah, right. so we do Viking Craft, Super Ninja and City Hero. Yeah. Yeah, Super Ninja, City Hero, and Viking Craft, please. Just hang in place, but you can turn around. Okay. okay. Cool. So the enemy will be everywhere, so you have to watch out. Okay. okay. Okay, so we have two weapons, a sword, and a crossbow. Maybe you can pick either of that. Yep. Okay, and to know if you're alive or dead, there will be a cross sign. Okay, do you come back alive? Yeah. Are you excited? Yeah. All right, so have you been Hi. briefed? Uh, have you yes. been briefed? Yes. What are you having? What weapon? So I'm having the sword and Rayla's having the sword, Dad's having the crossbow. Okay, cool. And you've got all your instructions now. You ready to go? Yep. All right, I'll be watching you on your TV. Okay. Because I can see what you're doing over oh, here. You can. And I'll be watching what you do okay. on the floor. Bye. Bye. Step in the virtual world. So Riley's being suited up now, so he's got his sword in his hand Whoa. and he's got his goggles on. So just seeing if he can see around. And this is the city that doing, they're going Riley? to be in here. <laughs> oh, I see you on the screen. Why are you? <laughs> Riley, other the way. Oh my god. Who's <laughs> it? So this is Riley attacking people with his sword. Look. Yeah, that one was uh, pretty full on where all the um, samurai and ninjas Ooh. started coming out of the woodwork and little bugs with like horns coming out of their heads and stuff. It got pretty intense, but it was good. All right, we are on to Viking Craft yes. and they're now getting the instruction of the game. Like this time, if you see birds, crows, you have to shoot the crows too. Okay. okay, so shoot the birds. Anything that moves, it's not going to survive. Okay, okay I'll, I'll just shoot everything. Yeah. Okay, for First move, just press this. Yep. This one you need to reload. You have to point down. Okay. Okay. Yep. Yeah. Perfect. So you can try first. Yeah. Hey! Yeah. He's just explaining that hey, when yeah. they get suited up and they start this game, there's actually more of like a three day feel because there's fans and things that come on during the game. So this is going to be really interesting to see their reaction because I don't think the kids quite understand. <laughs> what's going to happen during this game, especially with the cold air that's going to come at them. So we'll just have to wait and see. Jimmy's way too tall. He has to like bend down for this poor lady to put the thing on his head. Why do you have an angry beard? Do I have an angry beard? Yeah! That's what I look like before. <laughs> Shoot everything that's moving. He's moving! Okay, so can you see Janet? Yeah. Really? Why are you so small? Why are you both so small? Am I massive? Yeah. Uh, no. <laughs> All right, they're ready. The 
getting set. Game's about to start. Oh, they've come to a standstill at the moment. Come to a standstill. There must be enemies all around them. Oh no! They are getting overrun at the moment. <laughs> Whoa, that one was intense. There was things coming in all directions from the sky. And um, I must admit, I panicked at one point. I was like, oh my God, there's so many of these things. what do you think of it, Liam? Wow. Oh, that was a bit too many things. <laughs> was that good, right? Yeah. Was that good? Yeah, that was so hard. Yeah, it was pretty that, hard? That was, that was a fire breathing guy. I know, I tried to kill him, but my bullets weren't doing anything. So what would you rate that one, boys? Come here. What would you rate that one? Nine. Nine. Eight. Nine and eight. That one was pretty intense. I um, cause it, cause there are four moves and then there's wind as well, so it actually felt like you're in there. See. So one thing about this place that is absolutely amazing is that I each simulator has got little features. Like the one with the last one, the wind was blowing in our face. The floor was rumbling. I feel like the floor is going to rumble in this one as well. They will. There you go. <laughs> so I feel like it's you know each one has got to be. It's only thing. I really think it's worth doing a day pass one day. Because mm. they do day passes here. And the day passes are, what? 200 ringgit, I yeah, think. Yeah, so like $80 for the whole day. Mm. So we might have to try that next time. Yeah. Shoot ice. Riley, Riley, what do you get to shoot? What did you say? What do you get to shoot? <laughs> fire. Fire. Oh, so mine's like rockets. Fire and ice and yes. rockets. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Okay, so let me describe what it looks like in here. So essentially we're in like a cityscape, there's broken police cars, and we're like Roblox type characters. Riley is a little orange man in a suit, and I am, I don't know what I am, but Le Liam's a little army commando dude, and there's a helicopter above us. It's just like a, a cityscape, but like in Minecraft style. Ah! Man, this poor, this poor professor, we're not doing a good job protecting him, are we? Poor professor. <laughs> that Afro dude was uh, pretty hardcore. Woo! <sighs> so, Mum actually got to watch through the goggles of what, oh, really? you, what you were doing. <laughs> <laughs> I got to look through another set of goggles to see what you guys were up to. All right, so what do we think of that one, boys? Yeah, you like that one? That one was a little bit short, but that was our fault more than anything else. That dancing guy was so strong. I know, and he was like, Dude, how cool is this? You can have all races with your friends. There's all different racing games. There's like a Mario yeah, Kart style one. Game. There's actual racing as well, I believe. But yeah, pretty cool. Check out this one, guys. This is called Horror Hospital. Oh my God, that just looks eerie. Dude. There you go, Polly. <laughs> Zombie way. Zombie way. And it's super realistic, to be completely fair. And uh... Oh, I've got some coming to my left. Left. <laughs> oh my god, this is very, this is way more immersive than the kids' ones. <laughs> Zombies over here. Dude, that was sick. How did you enjoy that, Pauline? That was so intense. I had zombies everywhere, and that was felt like we were on a moving train. Right? Yeah, that was so good. <laughs> I really enjoyed that, and I highly recommend people try this because, like, to be able to walk around the room <laughs> completely changes the experience altogether. So that was really sick. The guns are awesome. They actually um, fire away. The yeah. train was moving. The zombies everywhere. I was panicking a little bit. Yeah, Dad was trying to fall off the train. I'm like, stop moving. You're gonna fall out the train. <laughs> Oh, so good. That was so good. All right, Pauline, so what's the plan now? The plan is to go and check out the arcade because we brought our Pokemon little card things that they love to play with. So we'll go and find Molly Fantasy. You looking forward to that? Yeah. 
<laughs> Let's go. Okay, we have made it to Molly Fantasy. Molly Fantasy, which is a brand, it's like Time Zone in Australia, um, and it's just arcades and arcade games. So the boys really like this game here, which is called Pokemon Gaoli Stadium. And you basically get these chip cards, which we'll show you guys in a second. But the boys really enjoy this. It's like their favorite game in the arcade. And the thing with arcades here is that they're really cheap compared to Australia. Yeah, so like a dollar a game, if that. <laughs> so this game in Australia would easily be $3 or $4, like 12 ringgit. Yeah. And here it's a dollar. So we try and make the most of it. And it's one of the things we love the most about coming to South Asia. You'll get to do things, like I was saying, that we don't get to do at home. Yeah. And this is one of those. We don't go to the arcade very often at home. No. It's too expensive. Yeah. All right, let's, uh, let's get some uh, credit. Yep. All right, so what are we off to do? We are asked to put credit on our Molly Fantasy card. So we have a Molly Fantasy card. We normally put about $10 on it, and it's good for like an hour because, yeah, the games are so reasonably priced here. <laughs> Let's go. Hello. Can I put 30? 30. 30. Thank you. All right, we're All good right. to go. Good to go. Hey, Liam. Yeah? So what do you have to do? What's the goal of this game? So you want to choose a Pokemon to battle, and you've got to defeat that Pokemon in the battle. We'll show you. Now, hold up one of the cards and show everyone what these cards are. So it's just like this. But you get to keep them, right? Yes, you do. And the idea is you want to get more of those cards? Yeah. All right, what do we got? Boo! What do you got there, mate? Mega Gengar. Nice. And is that a four star? Yeah. Excellent. That's pretty cool. And it's your turn now, Liam? Yep. Hope Where you can that? win something awesome. Yep, I hope. What Pokemon are gonna come up, boys? Smack, 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 smack. Smack it like a bad child. Okay. Waterfall. Here we go. What is it? Swampert. Ah. Okay, so while the kids are playing that game, Actually, I'm going to take you to my favorite game at the arcade, and that is the drumming game, the bongo drumming. I don't know what it is, but I love it. So let's go. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm not as good as I thought. Sorry of my life. I never said I was good at it, I just said I enjoyed it. Go Rose! Good job Riley Robot, you did well! Riley, did you win? All right. All right, we've got a special surprise for the boys. They don't realize it yet, but there's a special at the moment for an opening. They can get one of those, which will be a five star. And uh, I've organized a couple for them. So we're going to see their reaction once they get them. I've got the card. Let's go and get these kid these special surprises. Hello. Is this just for the Moltres cards? Uh, yeah. Yeah. Thank you. Close your eyes and hold out your hand. Both of Right, close your, oh, not your mouth. Not your mouth. What's this? Open it up. Have a look. I want to know what this is. Yeah, toss it. Ah! Oh. I think I know what this is. There it is. Moltres. Is that cool? Yeah, you can't get that anywhere else except here. Let's have a look. Hold it up. Yeah. Look at those cards. Sweet. 
Yeah. All right. We are play the arcade is like 2.30 or something ridiculous. So it's time for an IKEA hot dog. <laughs> so this mall is called My Town and it's actually attached to one of the IKEAs here in Kuala Lumpur. I think there's actually two IKEAs, but this is attached to one of them. IKEAs are huge over here, like they are everywhere. But their food is a little bit different because obviously they don't eat pork, so the meatballs taste a bit different and they serve really cheap hot dogs. So uh, that's where we're off to go. Let's do it. There she is there. There she is. Ikea hot dog. And that's built into the shopping mall. Yeah, built into the shopping mall. You don't even have to leave. All right, so in my town, there is actually a playground in between the Ikea and the actual shopping centre. So you get to play on it for free. There's like three different sections, I think, for like big kids, small kids, etc. So there are kids just everywhere playing on this free playground. I don't even know where our kids went. Oh, they're taking their shoes off already. They're on the playground. They're on the playground. So we're going to get some eat? Yeah. <laughs> Alright, so there's actually multiple sections to this IKEA and there's food in all different places. So upstairs you've actually got the big cafeteria style. But down below here we've got the Swedish cafe and like the snack area, you know that normal like hot dog stand kind of thing at the checkout. That's just behind us here. So we're gonna walk through two of the eateries in IKEA and the other one is upstairs. Alright, so we've got our soft drink station, we've got a soft serve station up ahead. Everyone's lining up for their soft serve. Oh, okay. This uh, this snack line yep. is pretty large. Um, it's pretty long, but uh, we're moving pretty quick. All right. So I've just spotted something interesting on the menu. It's a new special here in Malaysia, just for you. It is a pink bun hot dog and a chicken charcoal sausage for four ringgit fifty sen. So Jimmy's gonna try this one, I think. Hello. Can we get a combo? Combo, yep, and then uh, three more hot dogs. Three more hot dogs. Yep, okay. and then one of your pink bun hot dogs. One pink bun. Yep, one of your cheesy sausages. Three cheese sausage. Just one. one. Yep. Okay. Um, your chicken cheese balls. One. Yep. Anything else? And then how many have we got? Just make it sure. No, that's fine. And then um, one of your donuts as well, the yeah, chocolate. chocolate one. Yes, please. Or oh, order. We're just waiting for all of our stuff since we ordered so much. <laughs> all sorted, boy. All sorted. Okay, so we got our meals. Everyone is happy. I got my chips, which I absolutely love. And Pauline's got her hot, hot dog, chicken sausage. Chicken sausage hot dog. Yep. Yep. Can't go wrong with IKEA. For less than a dollar, it's pretty good. And I got a pink charcoal chicken sausage that really looks like it should be in some kind of medical journal but uh it's not bad i'm gonna eat it and enjoy it <laughs>